Welcome to this edition of Call Your Recap. I'm Troy Miller and this is a recap of the March 11th Board of County Commissioners meeting. The board began the day by celebrating seven proclamations. First, commissioners recognized March 13th as the three millionth diaper celebration day for Baby Basics of Collier County. Baby Basics was founded in 1994 in Ridgewood, New Jersey by Jean Ann Lynch to provide low-income families with an adequate supply of diapers for their babies. The organization currently serves 345 babies at nine distribution sites in Collier County and has provided almost three million diapers since 2004. Jean Lynch accepted the award and thanked the board. We provide free diapers and kindness to children from low-income families in Immokalee and in Naples. Uh, these families did not receive any federal assistance or state cash assistance. 100% of the money is raised unless earmarked by a donor go directly for diapers. Uh, we were established 10 years ago with just 10 babies and today we have 345 babies. 97% um, of our families tell us that the money that they would have used for diapers is now used for food. So it's a great help to them. Next, the board designated March 15th as Save the Florida Panther Day in Collier County. The Florida State Legislature has established the third Saturday in March as Save the Florida Panther Day. The Florida Panther is a magnificent subspecies and a symbol of the natural character of the Everglades ecosystem of South Florida. President of the Friends of the Florida Panther refugee, Tom Trotta, accepted the proclamation. Why should we save this one species from its extinction? Because not only the panther, but ourselves that benefit. Biologists consider the panthers an indicator species. It's the coal mine canary of South Flor southwest Florida wilderness. When panthers roam the land, we know that the land is healthy. We know that our swamps, our hammocks, and our prairies are healthy, providing us with clean water, fresh air, and natural areas that enhance the very, our very existence and provide economical and personal benefits. Thank you again. Commissioners next honored and celebrated Marco Island for being named the number one island in the USA and the number four island in the world by TripAdvisor, Traveler's Choice, Best Islands 2014. The proclamation was accepted by Larry Satcher, Councilman of City of Marco Island, Sandy Reedman, Marco Island Chamber of Commerce, Rick Medvedev, General Manager of the Marco Island Marriott, and Jack Wirt, Executive Director of the Naples Marco Island Everglades Convention and Visitors Bureau. This award was uh, voted on by travelers, so um, we're very proud that they selected Marco Island as the number one island in the United States and number four in the world. So we are a friendly island, and on behalf of the businesses, uh, we're very proud to accept this award, and thank you for uh, giving us this proclamation. The board designated March 4th through 18th, 2014, as Comcast Public-Private Partnership Weeks in Collier County in recognition of its technology program and donation assisting Collier County students. A new public-private partnership program, Internet Essentials from Comcast, is the nation's largest and most comprehensive broadband adoption program. Internet Essentials provides broadband service at reduced and subsidized rates for economically disadvantaged students the option to purchase an internet-ready computer at below market cost, and multiple options to access free digital literacy training in print, online, and in person. Internet Essentials eligible families must have at least one child eligible to participate in the National School Lunch Program, including public, parochial, private, and homeschooled students. The proclamation was accepted by Justin Damiano, Government and Regulatory Affairs, Comcast Cable, and Joe Landon, Executive Director of Communications and Community Engagement from the Collier County Public Schools. Next, the board proclaimed March 13th through 23rd as the 38th Annual Collier County Fair and 4-H Show and Auction Days. With an annual attendance of over 65,000 people, the Collier County Fair invites everyone to share in the rural lifestyle experiences and community spirit and help support our community and youth of Collier County. The Collier County Fair supports Collier County 4-H youth in exhibiting and showing their large and small animals, home living projects, and other hands-on learning activities. 
4-H empowers youth to reach their full potential through collaboration with partners and adult mentors in an environment in which youth and adults learn, grow, and work together as catalysts for positive change. The proclamation was accepted by Shannon Hubble and Charles Brown of the Collier County Fair Board, Tish Rowland, Tricia Aldridge, and Marie Morris of the 4-H Association of Collier County. The commissioners named March as Florida Bicycle Month in Collier County. The bicycle plays an important part in the lives of millions of Floridians by providing a means to travel, to work, school, and parks, and is a popular form of recreation. The bicycle helps motivate tourism and historical preservation through the conservation of former rail corridors into multi-use trails, and the promotion of bicycling has contributed significantly to the economic development of a number of places. Naples Pathways Coalition is a nonprofit advocacy group working for a fully integrated transportation network of sidewalks, bike lanes, and multi-use pathways to be used by cyclists, pedestrians, and other non-motorized users throughout Naples and Collier County. The proclamation was accepted by Patrick Ruff, Jane Cheffy, Karen Walters, Joe Benes, and Alan Riker, Naples Pathway Coalition Andy Robinson, Naples Velo Cycling Club, and Stacy Reve, Collier Transportation Planning Project Manager. The final proclamation of the day designated March 16th through 22nd as Sunshine Week in Collier County. Sunshine Week is a national initiative to open a dialogue about the importance of open government and freedom of information. Sunshine Week supports the principles of open government and the public's right to know and have access to public records, including financial records. Sunshine Week is being promoted by national, state, and local officials, including the clerk of the circuit court. It is agreed that all Collier County government officials shall work together to implement full transparency in county government in order to give taxpayers easy access to all county records, including financial records. The proclamation was accepted by several members of the Clerk of Court staff. Next was the presentation of the Collier County Business of the Month for March 2014 to Purely You Spa and was accepted by Jennifer Alvarez Linguini, owner and CEO. Purely You Spa is a full service certified organic spa that customizes result oriented spa treatments. Educational events are provided and guests are encouraged to become spa members to create ultimate life balance, self-love, and quality of life. Most impressively, Purely You Spa has been an active supporter of many local charities and has contributed well over $75,000 and donated countless hours to local organizations. It isn't about us. It isn't about um only our customers it is about Collier County as a whole and we love to live in Collier County and we love to give back and it is really amazing what you all do and thank you for honoring us and thank you to the Chamber as well. Congratulations to Purely You Spa on being named Collier County Business of the Month. Sheriff Kevin Rambos presented the check from the Farm City Barbecue proceeds in the amount of $46,400 to the following youth program recipients. Collier County 4-H Association, Youth Leadership Collier, Collier County Junior Deputy League, and Collier County Key Clubs. National Farm City Week organized in 1955 and has survived many challenges and changes throughout the years. Once following a bad crop season in Immokalee, the people of Naples invited the farmers to a barbecue. The following year, the farmers of Immokalee reciprocated the hospitality. The event still rotates from Naples to Immokalee annually. The event has truly been a community tradition with many business leaders involved in the planning and production. The board considered a recommendation to accept the Conservation Collier 10-year financial plan and recommendations for the Conservation Collier program and to provide direction regarding sunset of the Conservation Collier Land Acquisition Advisory Committee. After a lengthy discussion and comments from the public, the board expressed their desire to see the committee change its focus and continue in a land management capacity. As for the 10-year plan, commissioners requested staff make some changes and bring it back for a consideration in a future meeting. In November 2002, through a countywide referendum, voters approved the Conservation Collier Program to acquire environmentally sensitive lands. 
Commissioners approved a contract with TKW Consulting Engineers Incorporated in an amount not to exceed $1,429,676 under request for proposal number 13-6020, North County Water Reclamation Facility Electrical Reliability and Mechanical Operations Upgrades, Project 73950. The upgrade should begin within the next two months. The board took steps to make sure that the State Department of Veterans Affairs knows that Collier County would like to be the home for the state's seventh veterans hospital. Staff was directed to submit a site selection criteria application with the Department of Veterans Affairs. Commissioner Tim Nance spoke about what that facility would mean to the citizens of Collier County. This is a huge opportunity for Collier County and a very, very important project. And, but in order for us to do it, in a short time frame and to qualify what they're suggesting that they want for this seventh state veterans home is 20 acres at like a donated site of 20 acres five hundred thousand dollars in monies they're looking for deferrals of impact fees they are looking for fill they're looking for a, basically a shovel ready site for a 120 bed facility it's going to construct nine uh, seventeen million dollars to build having a seven million dollar a year budget and employ 190 employees. Not only would this be a wonderful service for our veterans, and we have many aged veterans in this community, but this is almost like an economic development project. And I just want to say that in order for us to be able to be competitive to, to gain the seventh home, in my view, we're going we're gonna to need to uh, have everyone in our community support this, including the Chamber of Commerce, our leaders, private interests, veterans groups. And, you know, hopefully this is going to get some publicity and, and get people to step forward and help the county in this effort, because I think this is absolutely wonderful, wonderful opportunity. We will keep you posted as the decision is made on the location of the new Veterans Hospital. Commissioners were presented with the comprehensive annual financial report for the fiscal year that ended September 30th, 2013, an authorized filing of the related State of Florida Annual Local Government Financial Report with the Department of Financial Services. The annual CAFR, or CAFR, indicated that the county continues to be in good financial standing. That's all for this edition of Collier Recap, your recap of Collier County Board of County Commissioners meetings. Now, if you want to review all or part of any county commission meeting, visit CollierGov.net and click on the Video Archive section. Once in the Archive section, select the meeting you want to review. For BCC meetings, you can use the convenient drop-down menu to select and jump to any item you are interested in. For additional information on Collier County Government, visit our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash CollierGov. You can also check out videos about county government services at the CollierGov YouTube channel. I'm Troy Miller. Thanks for watching Collier Recap. As we leave you, let's take a look back at the sights and sounds of the Collier County Museum's annual Old Florida Festival. Daddy always told me you only handle something once and you don't work twice. Thousands of years we use the brain of the animal in the process. So I'm, as it high dries, I have to keep stretching it to, to soften it. So that's what I'm in the middle of that process. So I get a 10 minute break, I come over here and do a little bead work.
especially if they're for free. Yeah. You should do what them rascals bringing at the, at the market. Hurry, that means that, that she's owned by a fella. When we see cows, it's getting harder. <laughs> Just...